Uh, if you allow us now, we have some questions from our members and the friends. And uh, first, I would like to introduce Susan Elliott. Uh, she's a president and CEO of the National Committee of American Foreign Policy. And especially, like, you know, as you mentioned, with taking the consideration today's circumstances, uh, with um, uh, President Joe Biden's decision, that question will be like, you know, the most valuable. Well, thank you, Mr. President, for um, those inspirational words. Um, I was also U.S. Ambassador to Tajikistan when you were elected president, so I very much remember the leadership that you have given your country. Um, one of the things, and I'm also very pleased to hear you talk about the connectivity with Central Asia, because that was my area of interest when I worked for the US government. And I think hearing you discuss CASA 1000, TAPI, and other um, connectivity projects are extremely important. But one of the things that um, you've mentioned, and I think uh, that we would probably want to know about is, uh, what are your thoughts on discussions with the Taliban before um, you know, the withdrawal of troops? Are there plans to continue the dialogue, perhaps in Turkey or in another place? And you know, what are your thoughts about that? Well, uh, thank you, uh, Madam Ambassador. And I recall uh, our uh, visit uh, uh, in Tajikistan. Yes, we are committed to the dialogue the ball is in the court of the Taliban. We are fully prepared for Istanbul. There's a consensus on this, national and within the government. We will see now whether the Taliban opt. The key is that the political committee does not represent, unfortunately, the military committee or the commanders. They've not socialized peace yet, but it's a jolt that they need to absorb because they could not think that the United States will withdraw. For me, there is no surprise in the decision. It clarifies a lot of things and it allows us to move forward. Uh, so the right decision will have the consequences of making Taliban think seriously. If they engage in war, they would have lost a golden opportunity. And I hope that they don't do that. 